All right, folks, this video, we're going to update the BIOS for the ASUS Prime H670 Plus D4. So, a bunch of things we're going to do in this video. One, we're going to get the newest BIOS file. If I can type uh, this in. I'm at a weird angle with my keyboard. And... There we go. All right, so here's this. And before we go in here, let's see what our current BIOS is. So we're going to click down here in the lower left. We're going to type in sysinfo. Uh, the second you type in SYS, it's going to bring this up most likely. And then in here, I'm going to hit enter, bring it up. You will see here is the BIOS version right here, 0412. Okay, keep remember that. Um, this is my case. You may do this a year from now. You may do this two years from now. You may do it three years from now. Uh, if you've never updated the BIOS and you bought it around January, February 2022, that is most likely the BIOS version you're going to have. All right. Now, inside here, we want to click on this support. Notice there is another one up here. This is not the one you want, okay? You want this guy. Click on that. And then driver and utility. Pop over here to BIOS and firmware. Show all. So here is the first release one. That's what we have. This is the second one. Uh, the newest one. Now when you're doing this later on, there could be 10 in here. Who knows, you know? maybe 20 um, in the future reasons for updating the BIOS um, you see some you know comments in here improve system performance update firmware there's gonna be new graphics cards that come out new CPUs that will work with this so 13th gen new solid states new RAM you may see all kinds of different hardware related updates you may, may see some security related stuff Microsoft may come out with a different uh, version of Windows 12, okay? There are so many different things in here. Some of them you need, some of them you don't. Now, I, I got to say, make sure you read the descriptions. Sometimes you could have 10 on here, and you could get so many of these, and it would actually say, you must do this BIOS update before you can do the newest, okay? If it doesn't have that, then do the newest because they're all cumulative, all right? So, that said, we're going to click download. And then I'm going to click uh, show folder. I've already done this a couple times now. We had a mistake, <laughs> so I had to reshoot this. Um, here's our folder. We're going to extract all. And then we have this, okay? Now, what you need to do is go in here and do this BIOS renamer, okay? This is, this should be a cap file. Yeah, this is your BIOS file. The computer is looking for something different, though, not this big-ass name. So, you have to click on this, and you'll notice the name changed, okay? So, we want to copy this over to our USB. All right, copy, come over here. This is my USB. I've cleaned it up a little so we don't have a gazillion files in here. Now, depending on the motherboard you're doing with this, this with, Sometimes it, it can be a huge pain in the butt to have this file inside of another folder. Um, the BIOS may not even see it. I doubt that'll happen here, but just in case, I'm taking the BIOS file and I'm pasting it to the root of this USB, okay? So we should see it right away. It'll save us a click later. Uh, obviously, it didn't save us a click here, though. So now, folks, we're ready to go, okay? Uh, check the weather, make sure everything's good out there, that you are not 
going to lose power, make sure that you, you know, if the power company told you they're going to shut your power off at a certain time, it doesn't correlate with the time you're doing this. If you lose power or screw something up during your motherboard installation, you could brick it. Um, and just because you file these steps perfectly doesn't mean that uh, some very low percentage of you won't have some kind of issue where your motherboard uh, doesn't work again. Now yours truly always loves to do these when I have uh, the ability to return this motherboard or um, potentially a warranty, right? So, all right. That said, we talked about why you would want to do a BIOS update. We talked about, you know, safety as far as uh, watching out for bad weather. Uh, we recently had a snowstorm here. It did knock out the power. All right, so I did a restart. Going to go into BIOS. And you'll see on the screen, it'll say F2 or delete to enter the BIOS. Boom. And hopefully I did that fast enough because we might end up... All right, let's hope that I did that right. Okay, there we go. So sometimes you do it a split second too late, you do not get in the BIOS and you got to reboot. All right, here we are in easy mode. There is nowhere on this version or on this BIOS to do the update. You have to go to advanced mode. Then we're going to click on tool over here. Asus Easy Flash 3 utility. Then we've got to find this file, folks. There it is. There's our file, okay? I'm gonna click on it. Please back up your BitLocker, da da da. Yeah, I don't have that problem. Um, okay, so we're gonna click yes. Do you want to read this file? Yes. Do you really want to update the BIOS? So think about all the stuff I said. Make sure you're good to go. Yes. And now take your hands, folks, and get away from the keyboard, okay? This thing's going to update, uh, most likely restart the computer a couple times. I'll be back in a second. I'm going to let this keep recording. What are you doing, cat? So I like to try and record these so you guys can see the full pain of it. Um, it's actually not too bad, but there are times, you know, that you can do this really quick. And if we're lucky, we'll be done in uh, under 15 minutes, but uh, maybe under 20. Um, there's other times this drags out. Maybe you grab a USB that your BIOS can't see whether it's the formatting or the fact it just doesn't like that thumb drive. This thumb drive was formatted to uh, NTFS. I, mean, I did have another thumb drive um, before this because I wanted to make sure we were good to go that it would not read. And uh, this is an HP was using an HP thumb drive. That one worked. But I could not get, while this is dragging out, I could not get this Fuji Film one to work, so. All right, we are slowly getting there, folks. Slowly but surely.
All right, update. Successfully, system will be reset. And it didn't even let us click OK, folks, before it re restarted. So, um, now I may pause this as it boots into Windows because it has one of my uh, email addresses on the screen. But other than that, it's just going to reboot a few times. Oh, it wants us to go into BIOS. So you can see here, folks, new BIOS version, 1009. This is one thing uh, a lot of you might end up with this problem where it may, you know, it may switch your drives around on you. So just remember which one had your operating system on it. Um, this is, you know, one of those headaches that happens with these sometimes.